Hello from Chicago, Zach Campbell here at Wrigley Field, and this is just my first of two stadiums that I'm hitting up today. And look, it's not the first time that I've done two stadiums in one day, but it is the first time that I'm doing it here in Chicago, so I am pumped. We got the Red Hot Rays today here for some interleague action, and tonight, over on the south side, well, the Angels are there. Trout and Otani will be there, so I'm extra excited for that, but that's not happening for a while. For right now, I think we should go inside and check out the friendly confines. All right, yeah. the game. Thank you. my knee on that but it's worth it because I'm on the board wow that's gonna leave a mark do you need ice or something no I just need to complain about it a little bit but I'll be fine yeah. <laughs> this place is amazing and so kind of a weird fun situation today um, if you swing around this way you can see my friends Wrigley Dan and Draven there they are. So they have W Club tickets, a lot of free food. Uh, and I guess with those seats we get, hey, we get to enter the stadium extra early. So like a half hour jump on the competition. So this is the result of that. Got a scavenger hunt going here along the left field foul line. Lots of baseballs. I couldn't find any of those. However, that second ball that I got tossed from an employee, well, that was my buddy Terrence, the groundskeeper who's hooked it up in the past. So I got two for right now. And I see some Cubs taking fungos by third base. Might try to catch them when they come off the field. And then I gotta get my wristband so I can go eat. was Cubs infielder Christopher Morell that I got a photo with and just a whole lot of activity in the seats after that and right now well I'm looking across the field over at the first base side there's a couple of Rays playing catch so you know when I have fancy seats with free food the temptation is to eat but the other temptation is like I want to go catch all the balls so there's still time to eat but that ball is not going to be used forever so let's go try to get it. Despite the fact that I was decked out in my Rays gear, it just didn't do me any good. And listen, this is not an attack on the Rays. They've always been a friendly team, but it's tough today. You know, the seats are crowded and the netting makes things hard. So zero baseballs for me here along the right field foul line. And now that I'm back in my, well, not Rays gear and the Cubs hat, I just got to talk to you guys quickly about SeatGeek because they are sponsoring this video. 
Now, SeatGeek, by the way, is now the official ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which is very cool. So congrats to them for getting it done. And so as a result, they have you covered for all of your ticketing needs, and I have you covered as well, because SeatGeek has given me a link that I can pass along to you guys, and when you use it, you can save 10% on your tickets, whether or not you have used this app before. It's a tremendous deal. Basically, no one else has this offer. And before I explain exactly how that works, and for those of you guys who somehow still might not be aware of what SeatGeek is, it's an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make buying so easy. And look, when you pull up the seating chart and you see all those colorful dots, you guys wanna focus on the green ones because those indicate the best deals. The red ones, not so much. And also SeatGeek rates every ticket from one to 10 so you can tell right away just how good of a deal you're getting. And SeatGeek also has a buyer guarantee and it gets better. It is the only ticketing app that lets you exchange your tickets ahead of the event through a feature called Swaps. So that's pretty awesome. You should definitely check it out. And as for the savings, very easy as well. Check the description for this video. You'll find a link there. And when you click it, you just gotta do one of two things. You can sign into your SeatGeek account or you can sign up and create an account. And then the savings will be applied automatically 10% off any tickets, whether or not you have used it. And now SeatGeek has been downloaded more than 28 mm, mm, million times. That's a lot of times. And every day on SeatGeek, there are more than 70,000 events. So no matter what you're into, even if you don't want to see the Cubs, you don't want to see baseball, buy some tickets for other sports, music, concerts, festivals, comedy, any time that you can buy a ticket, check out SeatGeek first. And what I'm going to check out now is the W Club and get some food in my belly. Oh no. Oh no. Why would they do that to me? Come and quote about this. That's just. It's not right. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. See you. Now that, my friends, was a meal. That is how to eat. And I owe it all to these guys right here. Point to them out earlier from afar. We gotta get them up close. So this is Wrigley Dan. This is his son, Draven. And I gotta talk to this guy first, no offense. Now we caught up last year in the video. At the time, you had 151 balls. Yeah. What are you up to now? Right now I'm uh, 229. 229. Yeah. You're trying to catch me? Yeah. All right. He will. He will. He has some work to do, but, you know, I mean, at the pace he's going, it could happen. In a and, year. In a, that's a bold prediction. <laughs> and so, how many years have you been going for balls? Uh, just about two years. That's pretty good. And so, show everybody your shirt. Shout out your Insta. You can see it there. W Club Balls. Show him some love. And Wrigley Dan with two ends. Show your shirt. Wrigley Dan. Look, we're, we're all repping the shirts here today. If you guys like my shirt, well, check out zachhample.com slash merch and pick one up for yourself. And if you want to catch a game in the W Club, like how Zach does it with us, shout out W Club or myself, we'll get you in here as well. Wow, okay. So thank you guys again. 
really appreciate it. We are going to be going to see the White Sox later tonight, so we're hanging all day. And for right now, this game is just getting started, so back up to the seats we go. game is speeding right along. That's what happens when it's scoreless and you have the pitch clock. So top of the fourth inning right now. Marcus Stroman is on the hill for the Cubs. I don't like to be too negative, you guys, but given certain things that happened in the world, thumbs down to Marcus. Uh, and normally when it's crowded, I don't like to shout in people's ears when I'm talking to the camera, but this dude, Brian, happens to be a fan of these videos. So thank you for being cool. We have... Wrigley Dan in the background. Hello. And Draven over there. So yeah, just chilling in their really nice seats down the left field line here. We have to leave in about an hour because I do want to get over to the White Sox game in time for BP Beer. So I normally don't want to leave games early, but might make an exception today. But we'll see how much more game we can get in. Uh, Randy Rosarini just lost his helmet <laughs> swinging wildly at a pitch. So uh, that's the situation for right now. on my channel brought me food in Kansas City on the day that I caught an Adalberto Mondesi yep. come up, yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. hello, good to see you. Yeah. I wish I could stay in chat longer, but they need me to go sell margaritas. Fill it in. Go sell margaritas. I will. Look great. Good luck with the doubleheader. Hopefully a lot of home runs. Glad to catch you. I love it. Well, I have definitely never signed a base before. There you go. Okay, so potentially complicating my plans to leave this game early is the fact that Mr. Stroman, through six innings, has put up a whole lot of zeros. Even though I don't like him, out of respect for this great game, and for him. I don't want to jinx anything. A lot of zeros, that's all I'm going to say. He's thrown 70 pitches, so he could go the distance. So I feel like I, I need to stay and watch what happens, right? Was that my fault? Did I jinx that? I went out of my way to not jinx it. I didn't even say what was happening. <laughs> no hitter. No, I, I tried to not jinx it. I'm sorry, guys.
That was Cubs third base coach Willie Harris hooking me up late in the game. And then, I mean, because I clearly had not yet eaten enough, I celebrated with some dessert. Why not? And other than that, the story of the day was Marcus Stroman. He was absolutely in control from beginning to end. And with two outs in the ninth, man, everybody here at Wrigley was on their feet. So that was pretty cool to see. And then Stroman did it. He retired Wander Franco to end this game. And that was the player who had broken up his no-hitter. So clearly, that must have felt amazing for Stroman. The game only lasted two hours and five minutes. And so really, that's what allowed me to stay till the end because it was going so fast. But after that, I made my way through the crowded seats and down into the concourse and out onto Waveland Avenue. And for right now, well, that's Waveland in the background, the famous intersection of Waveland and Kenmore. So I'm talking fast because we got to hit the road and go over to Guaranteed Rate Field and hopefully make it there on time for batting practice. Do you want to come say hi for a sec? It will happen. We'll be there early for batting practice. And Draven? Seventh to three. Oh man, well I gotta I gotta catch more balls than him at the White Sox Stadium. But yeah, great game today. And uh, let's just keep this thing going. Come on. You guys are parked right down here. Alright. We'll back up over that Every moment matters right now. Oh my god, hurry! Head back. Yeah, that was easy. Everybody was worried that I was gonna slice my wrist in a moving car, but what a red light! Draven, are you sleeping? <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked. So the drive over here wasn't too bad. I guess we hit a little bit of traffic around Wrigley and just Chicago in general. It's pretty congested. And so walking around the stadium now, this is somewhat of a maze. Looks like fans are already on their way into the stadium right now. There's some early entry thing for BP, which uh, I guess starts at 4.30. And right now it's 4.35. So that's what I get for sticking around to watch Marcus Stroman complete his one hitter. But should be getting inside this place any moment and then it's back off to the races. Very chaotic out here in the left field bleachers, and that's it for the White Sox first group of BP, I think. Like I showed you, I got inside late, so I might have missed an entire group, so I'm just glad to be on the board at this point. One baseball via the cup trick. That left field gap is pretty good for that. So I was hoping for bigger numbers, getting inside so early, but I think a lot of other people had the same idea. But for now, it is nice and hot, sunny, so the ball should be flying, so we'll see what else the White Sox can do.
once again, the cup trick has come in handy today. That one was tucked underneath the left field bleachers, so I had to lean way out and swing that cup and knock it back into view. And then once I did, it was pretty easy to reel that thing in. So that was my third of the day here at guaranteed rate, matching my total with Wrigley earlier. Of course, that second one, home run on the fly, that one really felt good. And if you can see behind me, the White Sox are done. We didn't film them running off the field because we had to film me getting that final baseball. So uh, the Angels are out in front of their dugout on the first base side. So hopefully they're hitting and uh, there'll be a whole nother round of action in just a bit. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. All right, you get that today? Nice work. Don't leave me hanging though. Tell me if this looks good, ready? I'm gonna try to make this the neatest autograph ever. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, you too. Oh, well, you know what's gonna happen in a moment? White Sox fans are gonna hate this. Angels fans are gonna love this. And the general haters of the internet will probably also hate it, but I'm gonna switch into my Angels hat because that's just how we do it. fourth ball of the day, so, yes. Now, home run time. Did you get anything at Wrigley? much more crowded than I expected, and there were many more baseballs that ended up in the seats than I expected. The cup trick seriously came in handy. That was the real MVP today, and I put up some huge numbers. 
three balls over at Wrigley and 10 here today on the south side. So double digits at this stadium. And there are a few people here that wanted to say hello to you. Yeah. Got their shirts off. Show them USA, 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 USA. And a few USA, people USA, over here. USA, yeah. yeah. So just unreal vibes today here in Chicago. Lots of friendly people at Wrigley, and even more friendly people here. So yeah. I think I'm gonna sign some autographs, take some photos, and then hopefully get some non Dasani water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got it. You got it. All right. As soon as you are preparing the event in an emergency evacuation, please evacuation box. This is an outfield session. You can see the top of us. And make your own address. Good. All right. All right. Now get it tattooed. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm afraid of needles, man, so no, thank you. I hear that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at this. Yes, that's what I've done, except I took the Wrigley Dan Express, not the red one. Yes, you have lower level suites, including the room plate clock social lounge, to proceed into the hallway and toward the nearest <laughs> I just cannot resist the urge to get close to Trout and Otani. And today, while I got much closer to Trout, I was like five or 10 feet away, did not get him to sign. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but just to see him makes me happy. And so for right now, it's like four minutes until game time. You can see where I'm walking. I'm deep out in right center field now. I'm gonna head over to left center field. Maybe stay there the whole game. Maybe run over to right for Otani. It's pretty crowded in the outfield, so I'm not expecting much, but I mean, with Trout and Otani in the lineup, I definitely gotta be in the outfield, you know? quite a first inning for the Angels. Trout walked, Otani got hit by a pitch, and then Brandon Drury hit a three-run homer, and then Matt Heiss hit a solo shot. And so those two home runs, it's frustrating because the first one went a section and a half that way. The second one went a section and a half that way. So the magnetism in my glove is a little bit off, and let's just let these people go through.
It is a gorgeous night here in Chicago, but not much is happening in the game after that explosive first inning. So, top of the fourth right now, Angels are up 4-1. to one. For the White Sox, that one run was knocked in by Eloy Jimenez. So, you know, just sitting out here, enjoying the sights, waiting for Trout and Otani to come back up. And I'm still so full from all that food in the W Club. I thought I was going to get food at both stadiums today, but I'm good, you guys. I am all set. It's the order. Oh, I think he never gets a quarter. This motherfucker. Oh. I was there for that. I was there for that, bro. Now that is extremely special right there. The cancer survivor, Liam Hendricks, is back at Guaranteed Rate Field, reinstated onto the White Sox roster. So imagine if he pitches tonight. And meanwhile, the Sox clubbed a pair of solo homers, Andrew Vaughn and Romy Gonzalez. So they're down by one run. And I gotta get a good friend of mine in the video. Say hey to Bradley, everybody. What's up, everyone? How are we doing? Now, if this dude looks familiar, it's because he was in my Field of Dreams video, hooking me up with some behind-the-scenes access. And you work for the Cubs now, right? Yeah, I do doing operations, the best operations. So operations? Very cool. It just got loud here for a second, but you can see Bradley's Insta up on the screen there, so show him some love. And right now, bottom six, the White Sox are down by one run, four to three. And the Angels are going to have the big boys coming up next inning. So we're both ready. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. It happened at the start of the eighth inning. Liam Hendricks came out of the bullpen and of course this place went bonkers. I mean, seriously, that's about as dramatic an entrance as you're ever gonna see. And this place gave him two standing ovations. One as he jogged toward the infield and then another right before he threw his first pitch in the major leagues since last season. But unfortunately for him and for White Sox fans, he ran into some trouble and gave up two runs including an RBI single by Mike Trout that a leaping Tim Anderson couldn't quite snag. But just the fact that Hendricks is back and pitching at the very highest level should be celebrated. Now, in the ninth inning, there was all kinds of action. But wait, no, that's not the kind of action I'm talking about. But you know what? Cheers to those guys for bringing the energy. Eloy Jimenez crushed a home run to left field to get this whole place fired up. And when Andrew Vaughn got drilled by a pitch soon after, Man, people were not happy about it. But guess what? The White Sox ended up bringing the potential winning run to the plate, but that's as far as they took it. The Angels made one hell of a defensive play to close things out. That was my fellow Z for the record, Zach Neto with the diving stop. And so the final score tonight was Angels six, White Sox four, and my very favorite player, Mike Trout, well, he picked a couple of hits. Gotta say though that I'm pretty frustrated with the home run situation here. There were five tonight, and it seemed like they went everywhere except for my section. But man, no complaints. This was an epic day. Started over on the north side at Wrigley, got three baseballs there, gave them all away. Then here on the south side, I got 10 baseballs, double digits, gave those all away. But they all count for the lifetime total. So that number is now. 12,175! Oh 
Yo, there's some people here. Swing this camera around. All of my friends here, we got them in the video. guys are fired up as well and so I've done several other videos with two stadiums in one day I did the Orioles and the Nationals years ago I did double headers at both City Field and Yankee Stadium in one day four games in one day so I'll link to those in the description and back in my blogging days I did two stadiums in one day so check the description all kinds of links there pick up one of these t-shirts and of course the Seat Geek link, save some money on your ticket. So that's it. I will be back tomorrow. And just let's get everybody in the video once more. Yeah.